mandible of the patient now what i have done is that i have done the marking with the red marker so exactly you come to know that where the implants are going to sit you can eto this thing and uh, then you can take this model also in the surgery one catch over here is that you have to just trim this bone from this end with a burr so i have to just flatten out these pieces because there are no teeth so there is some noise in the bone now when you flatten out this thing you have to flatten out in the mandible also <coughs> So now in this case, as far as the maxilla is implant is concerned, this is the right side maxilla implant. In this location only I am going to place it like this and you can see how it got placed like this. This is one thing. Second is uh, this implant. Again you have to place it in this location and you have like this. Now this is for the maxilla. Now uh, let's work on the mandible. In mandible also I have done the marking. So uh, sorry, this will be of this side. So this is how it will be placed like this. And this will be of this side. So this is how it will be placed like this. Now what I have done in this uh, I have provided tapping off for osteum implant. These green color is the cover screw for the osteum implant. I would just give you a demo of how this cover screw comes out and how you have to then use the multi unit to fix this also. So this is just a key, uh, I am just trying to open this. This is how I am opening this. This is the cover screw. Inside this there is fine <coughs> threading. So you have to just tight it like this. Like this. Then this comes out. So all the cover screws uh, are fitted inside this. At the time, time of dental restoration, what you have to do? Take out the cover screw. Use a multi-unit osteum abutment uh, and then you can proceed for the dental rehabilitation.